Hi everyone and welcome back to the Greatness Everyday YouTube channel. My name's Matt and with this video I'm going to share with you why I travel specifically related to the personal development benefits that I get as a result of traveling. And if you agree with any of these or you have any others to add I want to know so drop those down in the comments below. So with traveling right now many of us are restricted to the areas that we can go to the extent that we can travel. Maybe we are able to travel internationally if we have a valid reason or maybe we are not able to and right now is an interesting time because for me it has really allowed me to identify um, the areas that we miss out on as a result of not being able to travel so we grow many different ways as a result of traveling and right now we might not be getting those um, areas of development that we normally would be and so as a result of that I can see what those areas are I can work to build those up and grow in those areas but at the same time appreciate what traveling does for me and look forward to those um, future trips that I can take in here in the in the next who knows how long. So it's something that I am looking forward to traveling. I want to know as well, where are you looking forward to traveling next as soon as you're able to? So as a result of this, really my past experience traveling um, has been one growing up where I did most of my traveling in Canada, where I live, the country I'm from, uh, in the United States. So I did quite a bit um, probably more so than the average person in Canada and the US uh, of traveling within those two countries. And then when I hit university, that's when I started traveling internationally. And I've only been to seven countries, but my experience within those seven countries is probably unique compared to a lot of people because uh, when I've been in those countries I've been there for long periods of time um, in fact I, I've either gone to school in those countries or done an internship uh, or I've lived and worked in those different places so uh, it's a different perspective than saying that I went on a cruise ship and I went to 10 different countries where you stop in each and every place for a day. Uh, I don't really view that as traveling um, or somebody that went to a resort and said they saw whatever country they're talking about. No, uh, my experience with these countries that I've been to has been largely, um, I've been there, I've lived there, um, and I've really got to experience those countries. So. That is a form of travel that I have taken on in the past and also that's the form of traveling that I am looking forward to continue to doing. Um, I've never been on a cruise. I don't know if I ever will. It's never been something that's really excited me. Um, I've never been to like a big, big, big resort. Uh, I've always lived in those places um, by either having my own place or staying with a group of people. So that perspective is probably a little different uh, than most people and if I'm being honest, Growing up, traveling was something that I wanted to do, um, but it was something that I was probably scared to do or not confident in the abilities uh, that I might have had at that time to be able to just be thrown in uh, whatever situation in any place in the world and be perfectly okay with that. That's something that over time I have developed. Uh, now I'm at a place in my life where I'd be able to travel almost anywhere in the world um, and have very little issues and get a lot out of that experience while being able to give a lot into that experience as well. And in the past, um, I've had a few opportunities to travel to places uh, that I might have been comfortable with or I might not have been comfortable with um, and I didn't take advantage of those opportunities and in, in many ways I wish I did. Um, if I could kind of go back and redo that, then yeah, I definitely retake that opportunity. And that's something that we learn over time. Uh, that's something that I recognize and now moving forward, I'm making sure that I do take advantage of the opportunities because of this video, the, some of the things that I'm going to talk about, some of the benefits that come uh, and put me outside of my comfort zone and the resulting growth that comes from that um, are extreme. So there's personal growth, there is many other types of growth that come with uh, traveling as well. But today what I want to talk about is within my traveling experience, some of the personal development lessons that I have learned. And if you have any um, things that you would echo, you'd agree with, let me know down below. Or if you have any others that you have kind of learned on your own, uh, drop that in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. But the very first thing that I have learned while traveling is a big 
perspective shift happens when you're able to travel. Uh, for me, in the countries that I've traveled to, whether it's a developed country or a less developed country, whether it's a country that I have visited or it's a country that I have kind of lived in, um, my perspective is shifted each and every time. I'm a big people watcher. I like to, from the second I get into the airport, just kind of put some music on. Um, I'll people watch while we're just kind of in the airport, while we're on the plane, um, and ultimately when I get to my final destination. And I, I like to observe. It's a, a natural thing for me as a science teacher. Um, I like to observe. I like to watch and see what happens. Um, and as a result of this, um, regardless of the place that I'm traveling to, my perspective always shifts. And, and I'm going to say as well, my, my perspective shifts in a positive way. There's so many things to learn as we step outside of our little world. I might think that my town that I live in is a big uh, kind of community. Right? There's only 5,000 people that live in my hometown. So growing up, I thought this was kind of my whole world. But as I expand that out to my province, to my country, to my continent, to the entire world, you really realize how small um, your perspective is. Right, So that's a benefit of really traveling and growing and shifting that perspective. The second thing that happens, um, and for me this is a big one, is it builds confidence because you're put in challenging situations sometimes. Sometimes situations come up that you don't expect and you can be talking about traveling in your own country, in your own province or state. Uh, you can be traveling, uh, talking about traveling internationally. Um, one of my favorite trips that I've ever done is I did a bike trip. I, I cycled uh, for about 2,000 kilometers uh, with two friends kind of right as we came out of high school. Uh, into our first year of university. And with that, we had many things come up, um, everything from flat tires, everything from uh, not knowing where we were going to be sleeping that night, and it was the sun was kind of setting, um, and to where we we're going to get food, water, etc. All of those things um, came our way, and we didn't know what to expect. And with those challenging times, we grew through it. We, we communicated, we developed a stronger relationship, we figured it out. Um, and really with that growth that happened is the confidence came along too. And for me, this is probably one of the areas that um, I have worked on quite a bit in my life, um, not doubting myself, not wondering if I'm good enough. Um, some people might find that hard to believe if they know me uh, in person. Um, it's something that's kind of been working on for a while and something that uh, really I, I constantly revisit and I think that traveling is one of the best ways uh, to put myself outside of my comfort zone in these challenging places um, and, and then from there um, value the growth that comes from it because I've really learned over time to value the growth and, and not worry too much about on the little things that happen to me but look more at what the growth happens because of it so that's uh, number two number three um, is networking, right? You're expanding your network to a global audience. And some of the situations that I can think of, whether it's sitting on a train in Melbourne, Australia, riding into the inner part of the city, uh, hearing somebody talk funny, and it was another Canadian like me, um, that I was able to sit down, just ask them a little about themselves uh, and get to know them a little bit more. Or whether it is people that I have met while traveling, you never know who you're gonna sit beside on a train, on a plane, you never know so uh, for me, uh, I was a teacher, so I was able to teach students from all over the world, from so many different countries, um, and make the connections that really are going to last for a lifetime. So networking is a great thing, just personally, just relationally, um, but at the same time, if you're a business person, if you're an entrepreneur, um, some of the networking that can come from your travels um, is incredible. Whether it's just kind of connecting over a funny accent, like a Canadian to a Canadian, uh, conversation, whether it's uh, where you went to university or, or who you're meeting on the street for any reason, um, networking is always possible. And in a lot of ways, 
um, really kind of surprises you and, and sneaks up. And a lot of people would think that those are divine moments um, in many situations, in many stories that they might be able to tell. So that's number three. Number four is ultimately from traveling as a result, and I'm thankful for this, I have become smarter. I start to see things um, from a more global intelligence rather than just being able to focus on uh, my one individual um, community, what my one uh, individual network that I have. I am able to speak to that specifically, but I'm also able to speak to a more um, national or international global um, perspective as well. So with that, I've become smarter because I've been able to see how they do things in other parts of the world that I can bring back to um, my own job, my own community. Uh, and the intelligence is something that um, really builds on each other. And, and for, in a many ways, over time, the dots are connected. And I've talked about this a lot with people that I know. Um, I am still connecting dots from five, 10 years ago. Uh, some of the travels that I have had uh, just as a result of traveling, as a result of meeting people, as a result of experiencing things outside of my little world, um, I'm still connecting the dots and I'm definitely grateful for that. And then the fifth thing uh, is something that maybe I need to do a little bit more. You have fun and you relax. So there's so many benefits to traveling. Um, fun and relaxation is probably the main reason I would say that a lot of people travel in the first place, that's probably their objective through traveling, but I like to think of it uh, as all of the entire package that I get whenever I book a trip, whenever I choose to go live in a country or work in a country for whatever reason. Um, but fun and relaxation is something um, that I, I look back on my experiences traveling. Some of the best moments of my life um, have come from these experiences, from these trips that I've done um, where I've chosen to live or work somewhere else. Uh, and I'm grateful for all of these things. These are all things that have really resulted in the person that I am today. Uh, the person that if I look back five, 10 years ago, um, and I look at who I am now, um, there's tremendous growth that has happened as a result of that. I've grown so much um, in, in many ways. And there's situations in the past again, that I've looked back on and I say, oh, I wish I handled that situation differently. I wish I took advantage of this opportunity and I went on this trip and all of those things um, I recognize, I receive, and then I look to remember that as I go through. So I recognize, receive, and remember that. So moving forward, I'm not going to miss out on those opportunities. So I hope this video um, shares a little bit about why I travel. I hope this video can give you some of the benefits uh, of traveling to you personally the personal development growth that comes as a result of traveling and really challenge you to say, hey, where do you want to go next? Maybe you are able to travel right now. Maybe you're not. It doesn't matter. You have opportunities in your own backyard that you can do all of these things that are going to result in as a growth of stepping out and traveling in your own backyard, in your state, your province, your country, or internationally. I wanna know where do you wanna travel next? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, one of the things that I'll ask as well, share this video with somebody or click the thumbs up button because that helps get this video out to more people that are really going to understand the benefits of traveling. And if you're not subscribed, please click that button. So thanks for watching. Remember, choose greatness every day and I'll see you next time.